Welcome back. My name is Jake Gallen here with Emblem Vault. And today I'm going to teach you how to unlock your ordinals and import them into a Taproot Bitcoin wallet. So here we go. Here we are, Emblem Vault. Make sure that you first give us a follow so that you can stay up to date with everything ordinals and bringing it over to Ethereum. So here we are, we're going to import. Let's say you're on your page, right? Uh, Taproot, punk number 57, you see it. And you're like, hey, you know, I want to bring it off Ethereum. I feel more secure on the native chain. I don't like all this financial lingo or everything that comes with it. You're going to go down here and you can access it two ways. You can either hit view this NFT in the description or you can go over to emblem.finance. When you're on emblem.finance, you come here and you hit my vaults and then you go to the locked ones and it's going to load. And once it does, it's going to give you all these different assets that you've locked, right? I have a ton of rare Pepe's. They're all down there. It's going to refresh. And once it does, you just keep continually scrolling and you death scroll. And that's the way that you can access it there. I don't want to have got a ton of emblem vaults in there. So we're going to access it this way. I just wanted to show you that's where we're going to go. You're going to have a list of options, transfer, get link, unlock, unlock vault and get private keys. I want to warn you, once you unlock the vault, you burn the NFT, which means it's non-transferable. Once it's burned and the private keys are revealed, the vault is untransferable. You cannot transfer it. No one else can see the private keys besides you. So want to warn you and tell you that. So we're going to come here and we're going to unlock it and you're going to be presented with a gas fee. Right now, the gas fee to unlock is $10 at 30 guay. $10, 30 guay. So again, if you want to be cost efficient, we're going to prove it here. If you want to be cost efficient, then do it on a weekend at night. EST time is the best. You go down here and you know that it's burning because it says claiming. And eventually once the vault is done burning and it's claiming your vault, it'll present and it'll say get keys right here. You can see it get keys. So if you happen to leave that page for whatever reason, let's say you burn it and you don't want to get the keys. You just wanted to burn it and you walk off, your computer shuts off, whatever. The best way to access it is you're going to go to emblem.finance and you're going to click on my vaults and then you're going to go to unlocked. These are all your burned assets. As you can see here, there is a little bit of a glitch here, uh, which I'm unsure if we're going to have to fix this. You're going to go to the second taproot punk right here. And you're going to see where it says get keys. And so you're going to click on get keys and it's going to give you a message and it just says claim with a bunch of numbers. That means you're good to go. And once you do that, it's going to present you with keys. And of course it's going to be blurred out here because I don't want you guys to steal my assets. And you're going to, you're going to be presented with a mnemonic phrase and the private keys. You're going to want to copy that 12 word mnemonic phrase. And there's a few wallets that you can import it to. You can import it to Sparrow. You can import it, import it to Xverse or whatever other Taproot supported wallet is presented after the time that this video has been created. So we'll go over Sparrow and then we're going to end with Xverse. So you can either fast forward or you can sit here and uh, you can watch. So we're going to move over to Sparrow. Once we go over to Sparrow, as you see, it's presented here. I have all my different tabs. You're going to go and click where it says file at the very top. And then you're going to go to import wallet. And so you're going to be presented with mnemonic words and then all these other options. So you're going to move this down to 12 words and you're going to paste it in there. Right. And of course this is blurred out. I have a passphrase on this wallet, so I'm going to type it in. And of course you guys can't see any of it, but you're going to be presented again with this and it says no existing wallets found, of course, because you're importing it first. You cannot find them all with existing transactions. Use this and it says import anyway, and you press yes. And then the script type is taproot. You're going to move it to taproot. Very important to move it to taproot. All right. So once you type in everything, you're going, you're going to be presented with a brand new fresh wallet. And here it says the wallet's loading, finished loading, but down here there's having connecting issues with Electrum. So it's not currently displaying, but you can, but you know, since it's here that the taproot punk is in here, it's in this wallet. Even if it's not displaying, you can always go back to your emblem vault and you can uh, import it to a different wallet. And that's the power of it. Once you have the, the mnemonic phrase, you can import it to any single wallet. So if, if Sparrow wallet isn't working or completely displaying, like it is right now, I'll show you and we'll go over to the Xverse app and we're going to go and we're going to 
copy the mnemonic phrase again. I personally like X first better. It's much more simple and it's a web three wallet app that you can just use as a, as a widget over in the right hand corner. So you go, you know, you hit download, you download it for, for Google Chrome. I already have it on brave. So you come up to the, uh, X first app and I'm going to show you here in a second right here. So you're presented with the X first app. You could create wallet, restore wallet. So once you hit restore wallet, I pulled it up here on the web page so that it's much more accessible to see. You could hit next, next, continue, and then you're going to want to paste in that 12 word seed phrase. Of course, you can't see it here because I don't want you to steal my stuff. And then you're going to type in your password, make sure that it's strong. And then you're going to want to bring it in again, and it's going to be importing your asset. And what I like about Xverse is that it shows, it has a, a pretty good visual display of what's inside. And what I mean by that is that if you go over and you see it here, you can come down here and you click this items, right? Activate ordinals. You have Bitcoin ordinals in your wallet. Would you like to display them? This is an experimental feature, blah, blah, blah. You hit activate and then there it is, right? Ordinals, there it is. And then you could go send. I don't believe they have the sending feature functional yet. But that's the power, as I show you. If spare wallet's not working, if it's not connecting with the nodes, or if there's any other complications, you don't have to worry. You could go take that mnemonic phrase and import it into Xverse. Eventually, you could go import it into Ordinal's wallet. You could go import it into any Ordinal wallet that pops up. So that's how you do it. That's how you take your Ordinal and go bring it to a native wallet. We'll see you next time.